of L Wigs. They sent over this beautiful 14 inch curly 360 lace frontal. Um, I'm going to show you guys how I style it. First I'm going to do it in like two twists that go up into a top knot bun. Um, and you'll see that on camera and then I really wasn't feeling that with this look. Like in my mind when I first seen it I was like okay I'm going to do like a baby doll hair. So I was going to do like my um, baby hair and then like two twists going back kind of for like a baby hair baby doll look and then I wasn't feeling that so I just took the so I took the ends of those two twists and turned it into a top knot bun on top and I wasn't feeling that so I just went with um you know a little flip over action and I like this so much more um there was nothing wrong with the other looks it just wasn't what I was feeling for today so let's jump into the tutorial and then I will be back with details and my thoughts on this hair. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like this video. Now let's get into the tutorial. So this is a 360 lace wig from the company L Wigs. They come in a really nice box, pink and white packaging. Um, and then I'm taking out the fillers. It's a beautiful curly um, unit. I believe it's about 14 inches. So here I am flipping it inside out so you can see the construction of the cap. There's one comb in the back, adjustable straps, one comb on each side of the front of your head, and one in the center. You get tons of parting space. Someone wanted to join the party. But yeah, you get about five inches of parting space with this wig. Um, here I am putting it on. Obviously not as flattering when you first put her on. I find that when you first put on your wigs, just use your fingers to work it out. Um, or work through it, comb through the curls and stuff like that and kind of find your center with it. Because if you use a comb or a brush, you might manipulate the curls more than you want. So kind of just take your time and like you'll see later that I started to use a comb and I preferred it much more when I just used my fingers. And as you can see, it's already starting to look much better I mean it was tightly curled I guess for shipping purposes obviously but like this right here is like ideal so I'm holding it down um, like that because I don't have an elastic band and it's not bonded down um, so obviously with me moving it and manipulating it it would slide or move so if you want to add your elastic band do so I'm adding my Sebastian's wet um, and just using this as a styling product to sort of achieve the look that I want. I kind of want it to be a little bit more um, wet looking. You guys know when I do my curly textures and my wavy textures, I like it to look a little bit more wet opposed to dry. And this product helps me. See here I'm combing it and it kind of was going to make it a little bit more fluffy than what I wanted. I want it to remain defined, not combed out. So here I am um, using my fingers to part it. I just kind of wanted to do like a messy baby doll look. I didn't necessarily need it to be um, uniform or like perfectly parted. And the best way to get the perfect parting I'm sure you've seen is to use your nose as a guide because a lot of the times like when I'm done with the tutorial and I post it, it'll irritate me so much because the parting like when I was doing it felt centered but when I watched the footage back it's a little off center so use your nose as a guide just a quick tip and here I am twisting it back fun fact I do not know how to tightly corn roll um, this area of my head without taking the wig off which is the reason I usually will do twists but of course I have to try right practice makes perfect if I want cornrows I would usually have to take it off of um, my head and put it on a mannequin head to be able to corn roll it um, which is like I said is why I usually would do the twist and I just use bobby pins to reinforce it but as you can already see right here it's not gonna be exactly what I'm looking for um, this is a layered it's 14 inches but it is layered which I always love layers but the way it kind of sticks up and out it's cute if I would have just kept like messing with it but I just I don't know for some reason I wasn't feeling it at the moment but of course I'll go back and try this look again um, on another day you can see here it's cute but it just was something about it that just wasn't exactly what I wanted so I thought I had a look here so I was gonna work on the baby hair and I was like mm. I'm not feeling it so I was like let me see if I just do something with those hanging pieces and do like a top knot bun or a half up half down 
And that just didn't look right to me either. So I guess I was thinking maybe I, it just was too messy. So I tried to make it a little bit more neat. Basically, I just wasn't on my A game today. I think I should have um, styled the ends of the hair a little bit more first. But I went ahead and teased it. Sometimes when you tease the, um, the excess hair, you're able to get a bigger, more full bun. And this was cute. This actually was really cute. More cute on camera than it was like in person. Like I said, I just wasn't feeling it. But at the same time, I just decided to go ahead and do the baby hair. Because baby hair sometimes will make a huge difference. As always, I'm going to use the Got To Be Glued Gel. Um, as this dries on my hairline, it's going to reinforce and hold down um, the lace along my hairline. And it's also going to lay my baby hair. So it's like a two-in-one for me. Especially because I did not add an elastic band to this wig. So it's going to help it to, um, you know, stay in place a little bit better. I had a bobby pin just hanging in my hair, but I figured let me just go ahead and play with the ends a little bit more and add a little bit of water. I wasn't planning on putting any water in this hair, but I was like, maybe that'll help me to feel it. And I'm actually really, 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 really feeling it. But I was so set on like not feeling it at this point that I was like, let me just go ahead and see what it will look like down. But I actually was really feeling that. So I could have kept that. Then I was thinking about doing a side pony. I just kind of was in an indecisive oh. mood on this day. And I was feeling this. The only thing it was missing was some layers and some powder in the parting since I did not bleach the knots. I believe I used a L'Oreal powder and then I went ahead and layered because it was already layered but I wanted a little bit more definition for volume. And that was it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Now onto my thoughts. And that pretty much was how I got this look. The camera did cut off at the very end of me styling this hair. All I did was I used this um, Kenra volume spray. I love this stuff. You need a volume spray. If you like volume and like you like to do little, um, like flip over thing and you want this to like sit high, I don't know what that's called, but I've been loving that look lately. This is what I use for, and this is the Sally's GVP version, so it is a few dollars cheaper than the original. I've never tried the original, but I just experimented. I was looking and I was like, this might, um, you know, do some tricks. So I think when the camera cut off, I was layering this side. All I did was I just took my scissors and I just kind of layered it. Um, I wanted the front. It kind of sat maybe about right here. And it just had no life and no body for the style that I was going for. So I tried just layering it a little bit just to be um, a little bit more voluminous and fun and flirty. And I think I did a decent job. As always, I added an oil sheen on top of that to give it a little bit of shine. Um, and then of course I used my wet. I pretty much use the same products all the time. When I run out of one product, maybe I'll try another or if you guys suggest something, I always try to try it. But for the most part, I just stick to what works for me. Um, this wig did come courtesy of Elle Wigs. Um, she is 14 inches long and I have... Yes. This is the bag the um this is the bag the wig um came in. They do ship via UPS. It took three days for it to get here, but I did miss the package, so I picked it up from the UPS store. Um yeah, and in the bag, it was in a bag like this before it was in the box or inside the box, and it gives you a little bit of a card or like an information card that tells you exactly what you have um on the back the item number is l wigs 86 i know sometimes when i give you guys a link to a wig um like if you go to it months later the website may have changed the wig may be there so if the link at some point or another um does not work just search l wigs 86 and you should be able to find this wig um it is 14 inches in length i didn't cut off any of the ends so i knew when i chose 14 inches it was going to be kind of like bob level um so I knew that doing a curly wig in the length 14 inch would be like bob level, maybe even shorter, and it is. Um, it's 180% density. The hair color obviously is natural. Um, the size cap is medium, and I will say that it actually does fit. I usually go for petite or size small, and it does not lift in the back or move, which is a great thing. Um, I could use an adjustable strap. But because I went ahead and I used my got to be glue to lay down my baby hair, this also helps to reinforce the hairline and make it lay really, really flat and not shift or move. Um, and then the product number is LW71. So I don't know if you want the product number or the item number, but the product number is LW-71 and then the item number is LWX86. Like I said, it is linked down below. The website is down below, but if for whatever reason the link um, doesn't work weeks, months from now, 
and yeah i really 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 love this there's something about this that reminds me of like janet jackson vibes not that i look like her or i'm comparing myself or my hair to her but this is just a vibe it's giving me um super nice it's curly hair obviously um it gave you tons of parting um standard is four inches i feel like this goes back about five inches and then it is a 360 lace wig, so you do get about two inches in the back along with some baby hair. So if you want to put it up into a nice little short ponytail, I think that kind of looks cute. Just make sure that you go ahead and secure it properly and make sure that it fits. But I am happy that in the back it doesn't lift. But I'm happy that um, it does fit really well in the back, so I know it won't lift. Um, it did already come with baby hair, um, and it did come what appeared to be pre-tweezed. Um, I did not add any powder and I did not bleach the knots, but I, th I thought it was okay, especially because it is like, it does look pre-plugged. Um, it's not too dense um, in the front area, but you can go ahead and add your powder as always. I did add a little bit of powder in the parting right here, so that will look a little bit more natural. And then if you wanted to add a little powder to the front, you just take your powder and you just dab it. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this review. Don't forget to check out L Wigs. I have this wig as well as a link to their website listed down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video, share with your friends, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.